So during the Nevada debate, Bernie Sanders made a promise to the culinary union and to unions in general on health care. And I think this was an incredibly important point to make. So I want to share this with you. Leaders are warning their members about that your health care plan will take away their health care plan, take away private insurance completely. There are some Democrats who like you a lot, but worry that this plan, Medicare for all, is going to take away private insurance and that it goes too far. Are they right? No. Let me be very clear. Two points. For a hundred years, from Teddy Roosevelt to Barack Obama, this country has been talking about the need to guarantee health care for all people. And yet today, despite spending twice as much per capita, Chuck, twice as much as any other major country on earth, we got 87 million who are uninsured or underinsured. We got over 60,000 people who die every year because they don't get to a doctor on time. We're getting ripped off outrageously by the greed and corruption of the pharmaceutical industry, which in some cases charges us 10 times more for the same drugs because of their price fixing. 500,000 people go bankrupt every year because they can't afford medical bills. So let me be very clear to my good friends in the Culinary Workers Union, a great union. I will never sign a bill that will reduce the health care benefits they have. We will only expand it for them, for every union in America, and for the working class of this country. Senator Warren, you... So this is a great moment because Bernie is as clear as you can possibly be when it comes to health care and the culinary union, which has a really good health care plan if you're a full-time worker and work a certain amount of hours and actually have the health care guaranteed to you. Um, that Medicare for all doesn't reduce your benefits. It only expands your benefits. Like this point has to be made over and over and over again. If you have a healthcare plan through your employer, through a union, all Medicare for all does is replace it and in in every case either matches the benefits you have or expands them. You're not getting reduced benefits that you currently have through an employer or a union. Those benefits will not be reduced with Medicare for all. They will only be expanded. This point really has to be made over and over again because people like I get it. Americans don't know this because they don't understand how single payer actually works. But as someone who's lived in a single payer system, having health care guaranteed to you, what it means for unions is that unions no longer have to negotiate health care. So now they're free to negotiate higher wages, free to negotiate other benefits. So having health care guaranteed to you through a single payer system actually frees the unions up to negotiate for more in other areas. It is a huge benefit for unions in addition to being a huge benefit for everybody else. Now, let me show you uh, another clip on health care from the debate that I think is also worth sharing. Let's level, okay, let's level, Pete. Under your plan, which is a maintenance continuation of the status quo, that's the, can I finish? The average American today is paying $12,000 a year. That's what that family is paying, 20% of a 60,000 income, $12,000 a year. Highest prices in the world for prescription drugs. Just the other day, a major study came out from Yale epidemiologist in Lancet, one of the leading medical publications in the world. What they said, my friends, is Medicare for All will save $450 billion a year. Because we are eliminating the absurdity of thousands of separate plans that require hundreds of billions of dollars of administration. And by the way, ending the hundred billion a year in profiteering from the drug companies well, and the insurance companies. Bernie's exactly right. And you know what is really disgusting about this clip is that Pete Buttigieg also knows this. A year ago. He was discussing how Medicare for all was the compromise. What is Medicare for all? It's a compromise. I mean, in the UK, you got national health care. That would be the left wing, the true left wing position. The true right wing position is free for all, all corporate. And the compromise position is a single payer system where you have private doctors, but a public payer. Uh, we've got to stop allowing the right to move the, the goalposts. He was on Morning Joe discussing how Medicare for all is the compromise. An actual left-wing plan would be what the UK has, where you are actually, where doctors are actually employees of the government. That's the actual left-wing plan. Here, single-payer is the compromise. Yet here, now, Pete Buttigieg, because of, as I showed you, 
in another story, but also showing you in this story. As he attacks Medicare for all, Mayor Pete gets campaign cash from healthcare executives. Like, check out the Sludge has done a great uh, breakdown into this. Here are some examples, um, just from Q3 2019. But um, Alex Koch here, shout out to him, great reporting. But this is why Pete is now against Medicare for all. It's not because he actually thinks Medicare for all is is gonna be so expensive or somehow ruin healthcare for people. No, it's because he's being paid to be against Medicare for all. And as somebody, as I've said, who lives in a single payer system, it's just obvious. You take out the profit making middleman, of course costs come down. You take out these executives, these healthcare executives making, you know, billions, millions and billions, of course costs come down. Like, this should be obvious. <laughs> just, it's just, it's so obvious. You take out the profit-making middleman, of course, costs come down in the healthcare system. And at the same time, and also the examples over every other country that has a universal healthcare system, Canada, uh, uh, as one example, spends half of what Americans spend on healthcare, yet in Canada, everybody's guaranteed. And, and it's per capita, not, you know, obviously we have, you know, one-tenth the population, but per capita, Canada spends half on healthcare, than Americans do, and we cover everybody. Like, what does that tell you? So, when it comes to and the discussion should never be should never be focused on cost because it should be about helping people and actually, you know, allowing people to live and have healthy lives and not worry about going bankrupt over healthcare costs. Um, but when we do talk about costs, understand the facts are also on the side of Medicare for all, and anybody fighting it. They have a reason they are fighting it. And the reason is always financial. They are somehow financially benefiting or politically benefiting from being against Medicare for all. It's not because they're honest. It's because they are lying. Pete Buttigieg here is completely lying. And Bernie Sanders, as always, is being authentic on uh, this issue of health care. I got to talk a little more about health care, actually. The other benefits, freeing you from your employer, allowing you to go back to school, still have health care, start a business, have health care. Everybody on the same plan, freedom of choice when it comes to doctor, because you're not, there's no in out of network, no out of pocket expenses. It's just sometimes I forget all the benefits of a universal system because I've always had a universal system. So it's hard for me to even put myself in the shoes of someone who has to pay out of pocket for health care. It is just crazy to me. The whole idea is crazy to me. And it will, once Americans have Medicare for all, once you have a, a healthcare guarantee to you, you will look back on clips like this in 10, 20 years and just marvel at the fact that this debate was once going on and it wasn't already obvious to everyone that Medicare for all was the way to go. Just like any time you make progress, you look back and think, how did we not see this before? <laughs> and hopefully you'll look at clips like this and be like, wow, David was telling us the whole time. We just had to listen to him. <laughs> uh, but obviously not just me, but a lot of us have been arguing for this.